character win tonight, just a, just a thought on being able to pull this one on. Tough building, second game of back-to-back. -back. Yeah, I think first and foremost, everyone on our team, within our organization, um, probably most people in Edmonton are thinking about Evander Kane. And uh, when some, an accident like that happens on the ice, uh, that's where our first thought is. Uh, you know, it's never fun to see one of your teammates um, in that kind of position, but shout out to the great medical staff we have within our organization and, and the people here at the arena that were quick to respond and make sure that he was okay. And, you know, the news that I've received so far, and it's very limited, is that, you know, he's uh, he's in a good spot and he's getting well taken care of. So um, with all that going on, there was a lot of drama in the game. The, there's two disallowed goals. Um, you know, it came down to the last shot block at the end of the game. and. You know, I was happy for our guys. We dug in. It wasn't easy. We got in at 3.30 in the morning last night and uh, to summons up uh, what was required to beat a team of that caliber. Proud of them. Jay, you came in uh, pregame, and uh, I'm not sure that you it looked like you felt like this game was, was maybe going to happen regarding the response, penalty kill, just the goaltending, that everything was, your team was ready to have this kind of game. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we had won five games in a row there, and towards the end of that that little streak, um, we thought our game had the sniffles a little bit, and uh, there was things that was showing up that uh, we didn't love about it. Um, it ended up biting us in the New Jersey game, um, and it's taken a little while to get it back on the rails, and uh, that's a credit to our players digging in and finding a way um, and not versus a uh, bottom dwelling team. This is a team that's been in the Stanley Cup Finals the last three years. So, um, you know, I, I felt uh, for our team to win, the first, first win in a long time, I think, for the Oilers here in, in Tampa, and it's a credit to our players. Jay, when did you kind of understand or realize the gravity of the situation that had happened with the band? As he was skating off. Yeah, yeah. His television I, cameras kind of showed you with your hands up. And yeah. Was it kind of scary for you, I imagine? Well, what I saw was uh, it kind of was. In my peripheral vision, I saw the blood on the ice. I saw him skate off and put pressure, and that's when I wanted a whistle uh, to to get the uh, medical proper medical people where they needed to be. And uh, as I said, it's a credit to those guys because um, you know they're quick thinkers and quick actors, and you know I think. Evander's in a good spot right now because of it. How do you kind of rally the group after that? Because there are a lot of concerned faces on that. Yeah, I think what you do is uh, um, you share the information as you get it. So uh, when the trainer came back to the bench and when we got word back to the bench, we, we let our players know immediately just so there was no concern. And then in between periods, we talked about it. Um, Evander is a real popular teammate. Uh, and and uh, he's an important piece of our team. And, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that his teammates knew where he was at. It seems like he might have something with Warren Fogel on penalty kill. Yeah, he, he was good. Yeah, he was good. He was, uh, you know, he scored the goal, which was nice, but he did a lot of other really good things. And um, he has all the attributes of a good penalty killer. He's long. He's a good skater. And, um, you know, I think he's buoyed by the opportunity. And so I'm happy for him. Is that maybe the best game you've seen him play as a, in your shortish yeah. time? Uh, I've seen him play some good games. Sure, I mean, we sure. played some good hockey down the stretch last year and in the playoffs. And I, I have a good opinion of Warren. And, um, you know, his start didn't go the way he wanted statistically, but he was doing a lot of really good things um, with puck protection and whatnot. I was really happy for Warren that he was on the ice when the game mattered and he made a play to block a shot with one second left against a Norris Trophy winning defenseman. And I was really happy for him because of how he responded to the mistake that was made in the night previous in the first period. Mm -hmm. I thought that was Warren Fogel showed me something tonight, and um, I was happy for him. Was that a reward for a for night well done for him? Like putting well, I, him on the ice? In the last you know what? Time? I think when you know we have a plan, and then I watch the game as it happens, and I talk to my coaches, and um, felt good about him being on the ice. And uh, yeah, so is it a reward? I just think we're just trying to put the right people on the ice at the right time. Jack Campbell, how important was it for him to have a really good game? He was really solid for you guys the first 10 minutes of the hockey yeah. game. And then 
just hung in there. Really yeah, I, I, I thought Jack Campbell, that was the best game I've seen him play in an Oilers mm -hmm. uniform. Um, it, like you said, his play early, and I, I thought there were a lot of outside shots, but there was a couple of, of uh, prime scoring chances in that first seven seven minutes or so. And he, you know, he looked calm, he looked confident, he uh, made big saves at the right times. He, uh, I mean, I'm I'm happy for him because that was a huge win for him personally. Most importantly, it's a huge win for our team.